For the USC Dornsife LA Times poll, we spoke with over 1,500 California voters. We also oversampled about 350 Latino voters to get a sense of where that demographic is thinking and what they're thinking on public policy facing California. Additionally, 40% of the respondents that we reached out to were reached via cell phone. That's one of the highest uh, percentages in the state of any statewide poll. Continuing with uh, its tradition of uh, looking at voter opinions in California, the USC Dornsife LA Times poll decided to take a look at the overall electorate and gauge voter opinion as we head into the 20, 2014 midterm elections. Governor Jerry Brown is by far the most popular elected official in the state. Uh, he has a 60% uh, approval rating. That is very, very high. Uh, and it's a little bit in contrast to where people see the state right now. The right track, wrong track was actually upside down. Not inconsistent with what we also found in June. But what we're also finding is that as the economy rebounds slowly from the Great Recession, voter opinion or an antipathy, I would say, towards the legislature is also moderating. And people very much believe that the governor is responsible, at least for some of the, uh, solving some of the problems that we've had, at least during his first tenure. The state deficit, which was enormous and at historic levels when he came in, is much more uh, under control. Uh, he has governed in a way that's fairly low key. I think voters actually appreciate that. Uh, voters feel like things have gotten a little bit better. They're concerned. There's still uh, concerns as to whether the state is on the right track. But the state is clearly better than when he took uh, over uh, four years ago. I think voters are responding to that. For our poll, we looked at a few down-ballot races, a variety of them. Lieutenant Governor, Attorney General, uh, State Controller, etc. Uh, and if you look at those races, they're actually uh, tracking and, and hewing pretty closely to the Democratic and uh, Republican of voter registration. Republicans really struggle statewide in this race. Uh, if you look at the Secretary of State's race, if you look at the Lieutenant Governor's race, uh, those elected officials, Gavin Newsom or Alex Padilla, uh, they're known, but they're not uh, universally known throughout the state. But the fact is voters are picking up that they are Democrats. There's going to be a larger number of voters voting in the general election than did in the primary. And it looks like Democrats are probably going to sweep once again all the statewide offices. In the only nonpartisan race, in superintendent of public instruction, where there are actually two Democrats competing, we found the race actually neck and neck. And you have an interesting dynamic here. You have two Democrats running against each other who, I wouldn't say they're from two different wings of the Democratic Party, but they certainly represent two different philosophies. And as education is rising in importance amongst California voters' opinions and in their own minds, we're starting to see an increased focus on this race. The current incumbent, Tom Torlakson, strongly backed by the California Teachers Association, strong advocate for teacher tenure and approaching issues from the current construct would argue essentially that we need to stay the course on education. His opponent, Marshall Tuck, uh, enjoying broad-based support in our polling from Latinos, African Americans, uh, minorities generally, has a different, uh, it comes from a different school of opinion, very different, suggesting that charter schools, more local autonomy and parental involvement is really the key to better educational outcomes. Marshall Tuck is really banking that change uh, and his challenge to the status quo is something that's going to get him over the talk. top. Torlakson has been around a long time. He has a lot of goodwill uh, and has some, had some successes in office. So he's looking at that. This is a very, very close race. It looks like it's going to come down to the wire. We'll have to see what happens on Tuesday, November 4th.